Another great member of our snowmobiler television team is Brad Harris. He's a youthful engineer who really knows the workings of a sled and he's also very meticulous about how everything goes together and that's why he's also Snowgore Canada's technical editor. Well, with Snowmobiler TV and uh, you know, and Snowgore Canada Magazine uh, combined, it's been uh, well, it's, it's you know, it's been kind of a dream come true. It's kind of weird saying that, but you know, I grew up watching Snowmobiler TV every every Sunday. I'd, I'd watch Snowmobiler TV and I, you know, head down Rice Lake and go to the grass or the uh, drag races and watch all the drag racing and then go for a ride on my land. So, um, yeah, I watched Snowmobiler TV for all those years and then uh, getting involved bit by bit and. Starting to do some of the testing and you know riding machines before anybody else gets to is, uh, you know, that's a snowmobiler's dream right there to come true. So it's um, it's a really neat experience. It's really neat meeting all the uh, all the players and the OEMs and all the the marketing people, the engineers, and you know seeing the development of these new machines and the ideas behind it and you know and how they came about and why they did certain things. It's been uh, it's been really cool. Really enjoyed it. In 2016, we have Articat ZR Snow Pro uh, 6000, and that's the 137 track length. Um, that I'm really looking forward to. They've spent quite a bit of time making suspension adjustments on the Snow Pros over the last few seasons. Uh, this year is probably one of the best uh, calibrated for suspension and um, like for handling and ride quality. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. I really like the 137 track length on that chassis. Um, and we're actually what we're going to do this year on that one is we're going to put a set of Alka shocks on it. And we're going to try that out um, for an aftermarket test as well. Um, and I think, you know, and that, that, that's actually available as an accessory through Articat as well. And uh, I think that's going to take that chassis, you know, to a whole other level that we haven't experienced before. So I'm really looking forward to that and looking forward to putting more time on the, uh, the 6000 motor. Um, you know, it, it's one of the, the better motors in the industry already and it's only been around for a few seasons. We also have from Articat a 2016 Articat Crosstrek with the 6000 motor in it. Now this is a little different this year. It's a new model, um, kind of a variation of the, the cross tour of the pre previous years. Uh, basically it's the same chassis as the previous years but it's more uh, trail oriented. It has the trail skis, uh, same suspension setup as uh, the Snow Pro package. Um, the biggest thing though it has the 137 track instead of the 141 previously and it's the coupled suspension. So. On trail, it's going to offer uh, quite a bit better uh, quality and comfort for trail riding, which I think what Articat was seeing, that's the majority of the riding that uh, uh, cross tour owners were doing. Uh, I know personally, I have two seasons on a cross tour, um, definitely wanted the 137 track just for all around riding. Uh, although when you get off trail, the uncoupled 141 is great. It's a really nice package, uh, medium windshield, mirrors. Um, it's got everything you want, uh, including saddlebags and a tunnel bag. For touring trails, I mean, I wouldn't hesitate to hop off the trail in a, you know, in a illegal area and like such a, like Wawa, Ontario, and go explore the uh, the logging roads or the hydro lines and you know hop lake to lake, back on the trail for the way back, and you can cover a lot of ground, see a lot of a uh, lot of different areas with it. So really looking forward to that machine and uh, putting some cams on that.